In this video, we're going to talk about some additional features in the um, grouping of uh, rows in the uh, grid component. So you can see here we have a simple grid based on the customer table in uh, Alpha Sports and we're displaying 100 rows and uh, for each record we have the state. So we're going to group the data by state. So we'll go over to Properties now and uh, we'll go to Has Group Breaks and uh, we'll turn that on and then we'll define our break field as the uh, build state region so we're breaking on uh, build state region now and now let's go ahead and actually define our uh, group header so um, we'll remove this first column um, and we'll go here and we'll say um, state and then we can either uh, go and insert a field and then choose the uh, state field because that's what we're breaking on or we could also just as easily go here and choose the break field so group dot break field is um, uh, the value of um, the break for the current row so if we go ahead now and uh, view the data we'll see now that the data is um, um, grouped by state. Now since we're grouping by state we don't need to go and see um, the state column over there so we can go here and we can't remove it because otherwise the group header won't be able to find that value so but what we can do is hide it so if we just remove it we'll get an error but if we hide it uh, we'll get the effect that we want so let's go ahead now and uh, hide it and you can see now it's hidden. So now let's go and add the ability to collapse each of these groups uh, when you click on them. So we'll go back to design mode now and go over to properties and then go here. And then if we look here under uh, insert special commands you'll see that uh, in addition to the group break field um, we have the ability to toggle the visibility of the group on either click or on double click and we also have the ability to show icons that indicate whether the group is open or closed. So let's go ahead now and this tells you here that this directive must be inserted into the TR or the TD t uh, tag. So let's go over here to this uh, TD tag over here and insert the directive now that allows us to um, toggle the visibility of the group on a click. Now what we'd also like, and let's just move this onto another line so that's easier to see, we'd also like icons that indicate whether the group is open or closed. So let's go here and insert the uh, visibility icons. So this is going to use the icons for the row expander. If I wanted my own custom icons, I could use this command and then I would just specify the icon for the closed group and then the icon for the open group. But um, I'm going to just use the built-in icons. And then finally what we'd like to do is make sure that when the mouse is over the uh, um, the group header that the mouse pointer changes to a, uh, a pointer. So I can go here and say style and then pointer, sorry, uh, sorry, cursor is equal to pointer. So basically now we've got that done. So now let's go ahead and check it out and uh, go to uh, view mode. So now you can see when I put my mouse over there we get the pointer and then if I click on that we collapse uh, those groups and the icon changes. If I click there the icon uh, changes back to show that the uh, group is currently open. So next we might want to indicate that when the grid is initially rendered that all rows are initially uh, hidden uh, or uh, closed. So we'll go there now and choose this option which says uh, show all groups as collapsed when the grid is initially rendered. So we'll go there now and then save this and then switch to working preview now. And now you can see here's our grid. Basically all rows are initially closed and then if I go there I can expand them. And so the final thing that I'd like to do is actually put a count on each row. So let's go ahead now and do that. So I'm going to put some parens over there and then I'm going to say insert summary field and it doesn't matter which field I choose, I'll just go ahead there and choose count. Go ahead now and then save it and go over to working preview and now I can see all of the uh, groups, how many rows they have in each group and then I can expand the rows that I want and then collapse them. So you can see here that the grouping functionality in version 11 is very powerful. I hope that you found this interesting. Thanks very much.